السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على شرف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد Hi friends, I am Muhammad Sobah from Patambi Today I am going to talk something about Ramadan As we honor that, Tejda as a Sultan of 11 months A new blessed Ramadan came to us I am not trying to talk about what is Ramadan and its importance as we all know that the Ramadan, the month of salvation, the month of golden opportunity, the month of repentance, we live in and teams of our earth. We commit many sins and are addicted to various of them. The best way to get rid of our sins is to evaluate, evaluate the Ramadan at the utmost level. Our as uh, is for let me share one incident of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. While returning Medina after the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to his companion that a surah was revealed to him that night. And it was more pleasing to him than anything on earth. Why he talked like that it is because Surah Al-Fatiha was revealed. At the, at the beginning of the Surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that his past and future sins are forgiven. Not that he committed any sin because the Prophet is accepted from sin and uh, does not commit them. But forgiveness means forgiveness for a meaning in keeping with the rank of a prophethood. Do we want such a thing? Every Muslim wants this, right? Every one of us wants his sins to be forgiven. Ramadan is, a such, Ramadan is a such a month that it can be means for forgiveness. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that whoever established the praise on the night of Qadr out of a sincere faith and hoping for a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then all his previous sins will be forgiven. And whoever is fast whoever fasts in the Ramadan of in the month of Ramadan out of sincere faith and hoping for a reward from Allah, then his all his previous sins will be forgiven. If we evaluate every day of Ramadan as if it is Qadr night, if we fast during the day and pray Salat al-Tarawih in the night, all our past sins can be forgiven. Some narrations includes that a person's future sins can be forgiven as well. Have you ever noticed we live in the most comfortable time in history? This is a such a thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends his bounties in abundance. We benefit from blessings in abundance. We can eat summer fruits and vegetables in winter and winter fruit and vegetables in summer. Today, human lives a better life than the sultan and the kings in the past. We can eat more than, more various food than them. When a, sultan, when a sultan wanted to travel from Istanbul to Ankara, for instance, he would ride on horseback for days. But today, we can travel in the most comfortable and fastest transportation. Despite of all this, despite all of this, however, almost nobody is pleased with his life. Almost everybody complains and bemoans, we are not pleased with what we have. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants gratitude for the blessings he gives. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, If you are grateful, I will surely increase you in favor. But if you deny indeed, my punishment is severe. In one hadith, it is mentioned that if we, servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, obey him dutifully, he will send rain at the night. But people don't really thank today. Then there is also a hadith that suggests looking at the people poorer than us, not richer. But today people always look at the people who are our better off. As Dr. Aisha radiallahu anhu has said, sometimes in our homes, in our house, no meal was cooked for two or three months. They asked, what did you eat? She answered, date and water. Here, let me share. I would like to share a story about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which make us more sad. One night our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam goes out. He comes across Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu and Umar radiallahu anhu 
asks them what makes them go out at the time of night. They said, Hunger, Ya Rasulullah, Hunger, Ya Rasulullah. And our Prophet says, He is out for the same reason too. Another companion sees them and asks the reason why they are outside. And he learns the reason. He invites them to his home and serves them some food. They have their meal. After their meal, our Prophet tells them that there are also among the blessings they will be accounted for. Immense. Ramadan has an important role at this point. People who fasted truly understand how valuable the food are, which they do not value at normal days, normal times. So that's why Ramadan is very important. According to narrations, there was a seven years starvation during Prophet Yusuf Salam's duty in administration. It is said that Yusuf Salam never filled his stomach full during those seven years. People asked him why he was doing so. He answered, if I, will, if I fill my stomach, I forget the poor. That's why I don't eat so much. Similarly, there was a time of starvation during Umar salam's rule. One day, he invites a man for meal. The man eats like he is starving. Umar, Umar salam is surprised and says, You eat like you have never eaten for so long. Man says, I haven't eaten such a meal and seen you have never eaten. I haven't eaten such a meal and seen anyone eat it for so long. Upon this, Umar says, until my people can start to eat from this, I will not eat it again. He did not eat that meal until the starvation ended. We should take a lesson from these examples. Today, millions of Muslims suffer around the world. We should help them. One thing is has forgotten. One thing, one thing has been forgotten today to be altruist instead we become we, we have become selfish thinking others on the one hand and thinking one's self on the other islam sees altruism as an important virtue it encourages muslims to be altruistic with many verses and hadith who is who is not merciful who is not merciful cannot see mercy. Those who sleep full when their neighbors are hungry are not from among Muslims. We must share the difficulties of others. Ramadan is important in this respect. A person who never gets hungry cannot really feel the situation of the poor. After fasting, people can feel and understand.